Hello YouTube and TCG fans, this is Davide here from Carbound bringing you what seems like the longest time, <laughs> a deck profile. And I ask you guys to check out our channel and subscribe for more Vanguard and other TCG videos. So I was meant to post this one up a few days ago, but it was kind of busy with work, so I had to kind of uh, postpone this video. But here it is, the gold paladin deck profile that I promised when I bought the star decks for gold paladin. So obviously they're going to be uh, Gurgwit or however you want to call his name focused and I'm going to actually build up this deck and constantly release a deck profile as a new set comes out and I update it or I find a new card so yeah. So without further ado we're going to jump straight into it with our starting vanguard which is Night of Early Dawn Cool. And it's a forerunner, generation break one, and it has a unite ability as well. Put this unit into your soul, look at the three cards from the top of your deck, search for up to one card from among them, call it to the rear, shuffle your deck, and the unit gets plus 2000 until the end of turn. So that's your starting vanguard. So I, I, I know people are, go are going to say, oh, but there's loads of other ones, like uh, the one that I run in my liberators. And I, I'm fully aware of that, but I'm trying to kind of build this one up and not just kind of instantly go for top tiers. So just slowly build it up and try something new because I, I'm people who know me know I'm not familiar. I, I don't like following meta, so I try different things. Sometimes it works out for me, sometimes it don't. So for triggers, it's four heal, four draws, and then eight crit with this one as our fourth, uh, our second set of crits, which is Flame of Victory. Put this unit into your soul, choose up to one gold paladin, and the unit gets plus 3000 until the end of turn. It's just useful to have, and obviously eight crit. Um, some people run stands these days. I still am not a fan of stands, so I will not run stands. I know, I'm such a rebel. <laughs> Then moving on to the great ones, I'm not going to waste too much time because I know usually when people watch deck profiles they're here just to see the cards, not to hear my well-educated edu opinion. But I'm going to try and be informative as much as I can. So for great ones, uh, four Holy Mage Candace, you get this one with the start deck, you get two of them, so or four of them, so you have your full set either way. So I'll just run these, I know you have the damage on flipper one, but like I said, we're building this one up so then you have four great one AK beaters night of morning shadow Kimarcus my light is shining on the car my dearest sincerest apologies four of those then two Kraskal which is when this unit is placed on the rear choose up to one of your other units and this unit gets plus 2000 until the end of turn I just run two of those um, preferably, I'm going to remove them with the cute cat. But I want I want to try something new because I know everybody runs that that fat cat. So I want to try something else. So moving on, we run two Knight of Red Day Runo, which is Generation Break One. When this unit boosts a unit with the Knight ability, the boosted unit gets plus two thousand until the end of that battle. Just run two of those. Like I said, mostly these, this is also all experimenting. I will change this constantly. Don't need to keep repeating myself, that would I? Oh. <laughs> I haven't done these deck profiles in the longest time, so I'm really happy to finally do one again. Because usually it's always product openings. Now it's products, uh, deck profiles, which is also really nice. Um, then the last one for a great one setup is Dawning Knight Gorbiduck. Which is choose a grade 3 from your hand and reveal it. When this unit is placed from your hand, you may pay the cost. And if you do, search your deck for up to one grade 3 card with Gurgawit in its card name. Reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, and choose a card from your hand and discard it. While you are paying the cost for stride, this card gets grade plus 2. Really good tech. Um, I've run it a few times and it actually helped me out loads. So I, I just. I, I've, I only ran 3 first and 3 of uh, Runo. But I just kind of gotten used to running four of these grey ones, and just it's really paying dividends for me. So for a grade two lineup, I know we're blasting a bit through it. I'm sorry if I'm giving a lack of exp uh, of explanation. It's just these cards are all straightforward. It's a pretty straightforward deck, really. 
Uh, two 10k beaters, Knight of Dawnlight Jago. Just so, just two 10k beaters. Then three Holy Mage Elio. Counter Blast one and put this unit into your soul. When this unit unit's attack hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost. And if you do, look at the three top cards from your deck, search for up to one card from among them, call to an open rear, and put it and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Again, it kind of speaks for itself. I mean, when you hit a target, you put this one into your soul, you can put one of the top three cards back like on top of it, and you can have an extra attack. Or you can find yourself that ideal attack card to do an even insaner combo, and obviously activate Unite. So I have three of them. I used to run four, but like I said, I'm a bit experimenting, and this is like the current most consistent for me. Next one is three Knight of New Sun Catalyst, which is Generation Break 1 and a Unite ability. This unit gets plus 3000 attack. It just, I, at first I was really hesitant to run Knight of New Sun because I felt like there wasn't much to him because I needed to at least get him to activate Unite and Generation Break 1, which was a little bit of a hassle. But once I realized, I was like, I can't over tech a deck. And when I just replaced them, the other one, the replacements, which was Tenke Beaters and Elio out for some uh, Catalyst, I realized that he really fits in well and you don't over tech your deck. And he just like smoothly comes in there and he's like a solid 12k beater once you get the hang of Unite. And once you get your deck to build to consistently do Unite every single turn. So he, he really fits in well and he doesn't overcomplicate things. So you don't need a whole Bible to explain to your opponent. So it's just like, hey, suddenly there's a 12k, a little boost, 15k. So it's, it's easy and it, and it hits quite hard. Then the only card I purchased separately from Start Deck, because this, surprisingly enough, for people who haven't figured it out yet, is still all Start Deck. This is the only card I purchased, which is Holy Mage Pwill. Uh, everybody knows it who's been in Vanguard for a bit longer. If not, I will gladly explain what it does. I run four of these. Generation Break 1 and Counter Blast 1. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, if this unit is boosted, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the three cards on the top of your deck, search for up to one card from among them, call it to the rear, and shuffle your deck. And just for curiosity, if you want to know where this card is pulled, is in the set of GBTO3. And I run four of them. It really fits in well, and obviously there's other holy mages in this deck, so it was only natural that this one would fit in just perfectly. So that's the only card I currently purchased. So then, continuing on to our grade three lineup, which is probably why most people are <laughs> most people are curious, because that this is kind of like where tech comes in. Um, people are going to shoot me for this. <laughs> Divinity Lancer Dragon, which has the Unite ability, and when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, this unit gets plus three thousand. When it attacks a Vanguard, sorry, <laughs> it gets plus three thousand until the end of battle. It's consistent. It's not expensive. It's not over teched and it buys me time until GBTO 7 hits, which has more Gold Paladin in there and one Grade 3 I'm really looking forward to. So currently I run Divinity Lancer Dragon, it's a good rear even and it's an easy cost for your generation zone. So I, I definitely recommend this one, like if, you, if you're just undecided on which one you want, mostly people will run Pelinor. I've seen people mix it with Ezel. All of that is great, but if you don't want to spend too much money, just go for Divinity Lancer Dragon. It's consistent and it buys you time until you figure out what you want to do with your deck. And then our last one is Sunrise Ray Knight Gurgwit. I run four of these, obviously. Generation Break 2, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. At the beginning of your guard step of the battle that this unit was attacked, you may pay the cost. And if you do, look at the four cards from the top of your deck, search for one card among them, Call it to the guard zone, tap and shuffle your deck. Then counter blast one. During your turn when your G unit strides, you may pay the cost and if you do, look at the four cards on the top of your deck. Search for up to one card from among them, call it to the rear, shuffle your deck. Any unit gets plus 2000 until the end of turn. I love Gurgwit, that's why I decided to build this deck. Because I, I kind of like, I need to be attracted to a card in that deck. Like for Liberators, it was Alfred. From my Ezels, it was 
Oh, uh, blonde Ezel. That was it. Blonde Ezel and Platinum Ezel. And for this gold paladin deck, it is Gurgwood. Huge fan of him. And that's why I run four of them. He's really strong, he's super consistent, and you have a free guard every turn if you pay the costs. And for that generation break two thing, my generation break lineup will actually show you that <laughs> you can do it quite fast. So um, there we go. Quickly going to move this out of the way. So yeah, I know guys, it's a bit unorthodox what I'm doing, and many people will probably be readying their pitchforks. But like I said, I don't want you guys to pay too much, and I want you guys to have the most fun as possible. So, I'd rather have pitchforks, but know that people aren't shooting themselves in the foot with a 200 pound deck, and then still constantly lose games. So, for my grade 4 lineup, I run two Fast Chase Golden Knight Campbell. I am looking for... Oof, hit the camera. <laughs> I am looking for one more to finish this lineup, especially now since the G unit has been increased to 16. And for people who want to know my opinion, these people who run the card game, they know what they're doing. Give it a chance. If it doesn't, if it doesn't go well, they will probably reduce it to 12 or another number. But just give it a chance. Like we haven't tried it out yet, so you don't know. It's too, it's too early to say already. Like, oh, this is, this is bad. This is ruining the card game. Give it a chance. We gave everything else a chance, like limit break, ultimate break, legion, everything, generation, great force. We gave everything a chance. And it always made the game more interesting, so give it a chance. So yeah, um, this one, Stride, obviously. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, look at the five cards from the top of your deck, search for up to one card, call it to the rear, shuffle your deck, and that unit gets plus 2,000 until the end of turn. It's a consistent card, it's not too expensive. Like, I bought each of them for like a £1.50, something like that. So yeah, definitely worth getting. I'm gonna put those there. Then for the next one, I'm, I am looking for one more of these as well. It's always like one more of everything, which is Golden Dragon Spear Cross Dragon. I think this is currently the best grade four for gold paladins, really. Um, which is kind of best to choose a face down card named Golden Dragon Spear Cross Dragon from your G zone, turn it face up. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard, if the number of face up cards in your G zone is one or more, you may pay the cost. And if you do, look at the five cards on the top of your deck. Search for up to one card from among them for each face-up card from your G-Zone and call them to the open rear and shuffle your deck. So that's why I want four, because you can instantly force a generation break two on your first turn. And that would mean Gurgowitz's ability would kick in after your first generation uh, zone. So that's why I want four of these. Not much to explain, it's a good card, it's a consistent card, it's a strong card, and I think it's currently the best one. Then, I run two Golden Dragon Scourge Point Dragon. You get this one with the start deck, you only get one of these. That's why I have two, because I bought two. Which is, when your unit is placed on the rear card from your deck, and that unit and this unit get plus 5,000 until the end of turn. So especially with that Unite ability and all the calling left and right, that ability is going to pretty much kick in. And it's a good pusher. It's a good push for game towards the end as well. Like, I feel like Spirit Cross Dragon gets you started, and then you can have Campbell for consistency, Scratch Point for finish. And then obviously, the last one that I currently have, don't worry, guys, Card Fight Collection is coming, so I have the G Guardians as well. Then I'll make another one if I update it. Every time I update it, I'll let you guys know. Then the last one Golden, Dra Golden Dragon Ray Breath Dragon. And it's Unite, this unit gets plus 5,000 and all of the rear guards in the front row get plus 2,000. It's crazy good, in my opinion. Not the best, but it's crazy good. Like, I, I've... Oh, it was one game that I played where my entire front row was nearing up to 32k on each side. And that was with Golden Dragon, Ray Breath Dragon in the middle. So, I'm a fan of it, which is why I run it, run it even. So yeah, that's my grade 4 lineup. Obviously, you can tell it's like, how many cards are there? <laughs> 6 and 5 is 11. So, and the cap is up to 16. Obviously, my G Guardians and two of these will join and that will round it up. But yeah, guys, so this is my Gold Paladin Jack profile. This is my Gurgwood build 
1.0 <laughs> and the next time I update it, it will be 2.0 and I'll keep updating this deck and I'll kind of take you guys along with me. So guys, let me know what you guys think of this format of like taking one deck and just constantly updating it. If you guys want me to do it with another deck, let me know because I have about eight decks. So let me know if you guys like this kind of thing or what do you think what you want to see from this. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Please click that like button, comment in the comment section below what you think of this and I will see you guys in the next video. So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things can mean less